Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, amma ba'ad, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Imran. Abu Bakr. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. So, free one, free Roman, done. The Fursan, done. Next project. This is a bit of a controversial one. It's called? Talk money. Talk money. Let's talk some money then, inshallah. <laughs> so first question, just take it straight into it. Don't want to waste any time. What's the most amount of money that you've made in the shortest amount of time? So I shared this information, but I want everyone to say Allahumma barik, please. Okay. So there are a few times when I've managed to, walillah alhamdulillah, by Allah's permission, make a large sum, of, large sum of money in a very short amount of time. One particular time is that there was um, 5K plus we made in terms of sales in just 15 minutes. And there was actually a technical error. We could have actually probably made in excess of 7, 8K had the technical error not been that the website was down at the time when the launch was actually supposed to take place. Another occasion, we made, walillah alhamd, um, in less than an hour, 20,000 plus pounds worth of sales in that amount of time. And those sales were also reoccurring sales that were gonna come over several months as well. There was installments. Um, third occasion, within 10 minutes, I made a 10 minute pitch as a result of which we made just under 20,000 uh, pounds in sales, and revenue. And of course, that, to be fair and to be honest, uh, that um, just under 20,000 pounds didn't come within those 10 minutes, like the previous times it came within that time. But this was a pitch that I made, and over the next two, three days, three, four days, the money that came in was as a result of that one pitch that I made with one follow-up. So there's been many occasions, situations, where we've managed to accumulate a large amount of money in a very short amount of time, alhamdulillah. And was that using a technique or method or a set of skills that anyone, even including people watching at home, can also use to get similar, if not the same, if not greater results? So it wasn't any particular technique, but it was a, it was a, a, a combination of several techniques and principles of persuasion and influence. You see, the science of influence and, 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 and persuasion is something that can be learned. There is a sub-discipline in marketing and psychology, which is called neuromarketing, okay? Where they actually teach you, and based on studies and research, how to engage with the subconscious of a person when marketing, so as to, on a subconscious level, get them to commit to the sale through, you know, particular techniques and so on and so forth. Also, there are principles of influence, stuff that's very simple, not scientific, not complicated, not mathematical at all, something that anyone can learn, that they just have to apply to their sales pitch, to their negotiation, to their, to their uh, sales call, to their marketing campaign. Some people might be thinking, is this some stuff, this, is this stuff that only works in person? Some people might feel uncomfortable putting themselves forward and making a pitch in person. No, the stuff that you can apply to a marketing campaign. There's been situations where we've used certain principles where in one day we've managed to increase our revenue by 20 to 30% in sales, which translates to about 10K, 10,000 pound plus in one day, just by implementing some of these, some of these techniques. But could one not argue that these large numbers of sales are because of your large following that obviously you've gained over the years across various platforms? You've gained this following, and now because of the fact that you've got that following, you can leverage that and make sales. So all it is is a case of you having a lot of followers. Therefore, you are able to convert and make sales. So I'll tell you a story. There was a sister that we had a business meeting with, okay? Of course, it was appropriate circumstances, this, that, and so on and so forth. It was via Zoom, not face-to-face, -face and so on and so forth. There was no khalwa. It was a business meeting with the sister that we had. Um, and in speaking with her, and she was opening up, about her sales and whatnot and so on and so forth. She mentioned that every two months she gets five to six clients who she's charging 5,000 pound each. So every two months she's making 25 to 30,000 pounds in revenue. Um, now of course the sister, she has a service, a great service that she provides, Allahumma barik. But she's really not anywhere near as known as myself, okay? Her following is probably less than a third, less than a quarter of my following. But she, at that time, was making almost three times more than what I was making. Do you understand? So she had a following that was a lot less than mine, but yet she was making more money. That's because she was able to 
leverage these techniques and these principles in order to convert those sales. Now, the reason I mention this is because, yeah, of course, actually, a person's personal branding and a person's pers a person's relationship and platform does give some kind of uh, leverage and help and assistance with regards to uh, making sales. But it is nowhere near the fundamental reason why people are able to make this kind of sales. Someone could have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 followers online, release a product, and only make 10K, only make 5K, okay? But a person may be able to, well, I've seen this so many times, a person may only have 10,000 followers, okay, on Instagram, which is not a lot, or even less than that. And they're able to make three, four times what that person who's got 100,000 followers is making is because they are able to sell their products or services at a higher price. Most people are scared to sell things at a higher price because they feel like people are not going to buy. They get anxious, the thought of just increasing the price. But if people understand that there's a science, there's a psychology, there is a formula, there are principles behind persuasion. Was, actually, there's also, there, there are subjects that you can study. The psychology of buying, the psychology of selling, the, the science of influence and persuasion. And they understand these things and they employ these in their selling, in their marketing, in their branding, which is why they're able to leverage these kinds of numbers. Okay, so that's what Talk Money is all about. So tell us a little bit more about the specifics of what's going to be taught in this particular program, inshallah. So Talk Money is our new course on the Brothers Club that we're doing, alhamdulillah. Uh, the details of what's going to be taught can be found on the website. People can either check below or click the link below, inshallah, and they can read it. But in essence, in summary, what we're going to be teaching people is how to use communication um, in terms of sales pitches, in terms of negotiation across the table, in terms of marketing campaigns on social media, video, video, email, all of that stuff, how to use those various forms of communication in terms of their branding, in terms of their marketing and selling, and how to translate that over into sales. And we're not just going to be focusing on translating that over into sales, but I actually want to take a focus on high value sales. Most people don't realize they can increase their price by 20, 30%. In some situations, double the price of the service that they're providing, okay? Um, but of course, you need to then accommodate that price increase, not necessarily with a better service. That obviously you should do. Not necessarily with a better product. And of course, you should have ihsan in terms of your product and your service. But really, you should accommodate that with the science of influence and persuasion. If you're able to do that, then making those sales can be very easy. So what we want to do in this course is teach you and equip you, the people that are watching, inshallah ta'ala, who commit to the program, we want to teach them the science of how to convert sales faster, easier, more effectively, and higher. Does that make sense? Higher value sales. So is it accurate then to say that this course is only for those who already have an existing product or service that they're selling. It's not for people who don't have their own business. So the ones that are going to be able to immediately benefit off it are obviously those that are already in, uh, they've already got some kind of service or product to offer. Okay, um, You don't have to be a big business. You can be a small business. In fact, that sister that I mentioned to you earlier used to run a small business. Okay, Yet she was making 25 to 30K every two months from my clients. So um, it doesn't have to be a big business. It could be a small business. But a person sitting there thinking, well, I don't have a business. Um, but I, but will this benefit me? So I'll tell you what. We just recently ran something called Operation Six Figures. And in Operation Six Figures, we showed people, we taught people how to come up with a great business entrepreneurial idea, how to monetize it, how to scale it, how to grow it, how to market it, and how to basically make money off that. And many people think, well, I don't have a service, I don't have a sale, I don't have a product, I don't have a skill. We show people in that program how to kind of the principles of how to provide value. And there may be things that you can provide value in that you never realize you had that what? Mm -hmm. you, had that, you, had, you had that skill in you to be able to provide. So in Operation Six Figures, we go through um, how to actually come up with a business idea. If you already have a business idea, how to develop it, take it to the next level and how to monetize it. So the ones who are sitting there thinking, look, I don't actually have a business, but I would like to benefit off this program, we'll give you Operation Six Figures for free. We'll give you Operation Six Figures for what? For free We just spent 10 days In the Forsan boot camp Where we spent Five and a half Almost six days On the practical application Of Operation Six Figures The people paid 3,000 pounds To attend that We're going to give you The recordings Of the webinars That we did before that The theory With practical application Some of it For free For free 
if you sign up to this program, inshallah ta'ala. So yes, if you've already got a business that's up and running, big business, small business, doesn't matter. This is going to benefit you, inshallah ta'ala. Okay? And even if you don't have a business, you want to learn how to start, but you want to learn these techniques, we'll give you, for this course, the other course as well, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, interesting. But the price is £329 for talk money. What would you say to the people that are watching this thinking that's a bit pricey? I'm interested, but I don't know if I can commit that much money to a course like this. What I would say to them is don't look at how much it's going to cost you in the short term. But look at how much it's going to cost you in the long term if you don't sign up to this. Imagine we can show you and we can teach you how to make thousands of pounds in a single sales pitch. Imagine we can teach you how to make an increase in terms of your sales by 20, 30, 40, 50% in one day based on certain principles of influence and persuasion. A skill that you'll be able to employ in your business, in your marketing, in your branding, in your sales for life, inshallah ta'ala. That, if you look at how much money you'll earn and how much you'll benefit from the knowledge that you learn from this course, this course could be the reason why Allah has facilitates for you thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not perhaps up to seven figures, if you manage to scale your business that far, over a lifetime. So then if you can make thousands and thousands of pounds in return, then surely 329 pounds is a very small investment to part with. Now, if a person feels that 329 pounds is too much of an investment to part with, with all due respect, um, we don't, we're not really looking for those kind of people on this program in the first place. I don't really want to have to convince anyone with regards to the importance of what we're going to be showing here. This is one of the things that we realized in the previous course, 313 Real Men, where we taught Operation Six Figures. There was a lot of people talking about, no, this is what, uh, I don't really think it's going to be beneficial. This is going to be a pyramid scheme or a multi-level marketing scheme or, you know, it's like Amazon FBA. But the people who actually signed up, many of them were already running op uh, six-figure operations, six-figure businesses. They understood, or, or if not six figures, they were in the tens and thousands of pounds in terms of the sales that they were making yearly. So people who understood the value that we're going to provide, they signed up. So I don't want to have to go out my way to convince anyone. There were brothers who spent thousands of pounds previously on other courses and said that the, the 313 Roman was more valuable than what they had gone Yeah, through. one brother actually said to me, I spent 10,000 pounds on... Uh, course, personal development business courses throughout my life, I spent £313 on this one. This one by far was more valuable than any of the previous courses. They can see the testimonies on the websites. So really what it boils down to is a simple question that I'd like to ask um, the one who might be feeling a bit uncomfortable about spending that type of money. I would like to say that if you manage to learn and acquire the skill of persuasion and influence that could help you increase your sales, your revenue by thousands, thousands of pounds, would that not then be worth parting with 300 pounds today for a future of affluence, inshallah ta'ala? If that's the case, then register at the link below. If not, then uh, all the best to you. So the last question is, of course, you know, people will know you as Imran ibn Mansur. I'm not Abu Bakr. We're known for Nasir sessions. We're known for giving da'wah for Islam, for the deen. So why is there now this shift? And now we're talking about money, something which people usually put at the opposite spectrum to the deen. So how comes this shift has taken place and why are we now talk, doing a course called Talk Money? Well, the reason is actually because in this day and age, we, most people struggle to practice their religion because of the financial obstacles and hurdles that they are faced with. The nine to five, if you look at it, it is such an awkward time to be working in a day. So many of your ibadat get interrupted because of the nine to five. Just today I was speaking to a brother who was saying he works for a delivery service and in the winter time because the prayer times are closed. He's struggling to pray his prayers, Akhi. He's saying, Dhuhr, Asr, and Maghrib for me are, it, are, I'm struggling with it because I'm working during those times. So anyone and everyone really knows the difficulty that comes with trying to practice your religion, seek knowledge, uh, spend time with your family when you have the obstacles of the modern day and age in which we're living. Plus, <coughs> we have this financial crisis where in, where, 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 where um, inflation is on the rise and so much is taking place. People are struggling with being able to pay their bills. So that, it doesn't take a genius to realize that money is something that you need to what? You, 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 need, you need to make money. Money can't be an issue. Um, it can't be a hindrance with regards to 
with regards to your progress in life. Now, this is something that I managed to, with Allah Azza wa Jal's permission, get crewed on to. And to be honest, I, don't, I wouldn't say I got crewed on to. Allah Azza wa Jal guided me to this, to this understanding very, very early on. So I have been working on businesses behind the scenes for over a decade. And that's one of the reasons why I've been able to give da'wah. Many people are not able to give da'wah to the way that we were able to do it because they had to work the nine to five. People always ask me, what do you do? Uh, because we always see you giving that. Well, I've been running businesses behind the scenes for over a decade, and we man we explained those businesses. We discussed them in previous videos and whatnot, and so on and so forth. So um, that's why we're doing this course to show people, so that you can practice your religion and worship Allah in a way where you don't have to worry about money. A lot of people, a lot of Muslims have a poverty mindset, which is actually ridiculous. Allah said about the Prophet in the Quran, فأغنى. Muhammad, we found you poor and we made you rich. Now, of course, the tafsir of this mention that the greatest richness here that the Prophet was given was contentment. But within that, the tafsir mentioned it wasn't just contentment, but also wealth, mal that the Prophet was given. And there was a research that was done by a, um, one of the mashayikh, and I'm planning to do, we actually did a webinar on this for the Brothers and the Brothers Club, that shows the Prophet had 10 different sources of income throughout his life. Ten different sources of income. The Prophet ﷺ was not poor by any means. In fact, to say the Prophet was poor, it can actually be considered as an insult. Yeah, he was a zahid. He was a man who worked for the akhirah. He chose, despite the wealth that was coming in, to give it away and live in humble circumstances because his heart wasn't attached to the dunya. But remember, the Prophet had nine wives at one time. Who was providing for them? He obviously had the money coming in. Yet there were moments in his life where he didn't have money where he was struggling, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Allah said, wa a'ilan. We found you poor, Muhammad. Fa'aghna, we made you rich. And on top of that, the war booty that used to come to the Prophet Like Allah said, that the, 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 the Prophet, the, the, the war booty, the khumus, the fifth. From that, the Prophet would take. Now, if it was just about what? If it was just about uh, fulfilling your means and not making a penny more, then what would be the point of having a fifth of the war booty from it that the Prophet could take? The, now when the Prophet took it, he would give it out in sadaqah He would help people Yeah, he wouldn't hoard it and you know, just uh, live in the... No, he lived for the akhirah He was rich, extremely rich, remember, extremely rich Abdul Malik ibn when he died He had tens of thousands of gold coins Right? Akhi, <laughs> wallahi, sahaba were not poor and they didn't have a poor mindset Yeah, there were some sahaba that were poor There were circumstances where they were poor and they became richer after some of them, like Abu Hurairah, chose to live a life of what? At the time of the Prophet a life of humbleness so that he could sacrifice for knowledge. But there were Sahaba that were providing for what? The ones that were seeking knowledge because they had the money. So we want people to get out of this poverty mindset. For me, Akhi, that was the most important thing. Seeking knowledge is the most important thing. Okay? Right now, you know, day to day, that's what I do. But walillah alhamdul minna, you gotta eat, you gotta provide for your families, you gotta build masajid, you gotta fund our projects, you gotta fund students of knowledge, you gotta do all of this khair. So you've got to make your money too. And we're trying to obviously show people, get your money right. Okay? So the money never gets in the way of your ibadat. And even if you're poor, that doesn't give you an excuse to be, take it easy on your deen. No. But we're just trying to, what? Facilitate ways for you to make it a little bit more easier, inshallah. Barakallah feek. Jazakallah khair. For those of you that are interested in this topic of discussion, we've got an almost hour-long video coming out very very soon inshallah where we discuss a lot of topics to do with the general economy at the moment the recession inflation and all these other things investments so on and so forth if you are interested in signing up for the course talk money click the link in the description to join the telegram group where you will find the link to be able to sign up with that said we'll see you guys on another video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa